Hi, welcome to Grand Stream Latin America YouTube channel. My name is Fernando and today I am going to show you how we could make an IPsec VPN between these two routers. So basically what a VPN does is it creates a tunnel so data can travel over internet safely. So let's check this out. The first thing that we will need to do is to sign in into our 7062 router. Then we will need to know our public IP. So we go to the system info, scroll down, and in this case, we are using IPv4 IP. Okay. Right, so now we got the network settings LAN. We know which is the LAN subnet that we are using. Okay. And then we can go to the VPN clients. So if we go to VPN, VPN clients, then we click on add. Okay, now we enter the name for identifier of VPN. Then we select the connection type as an IPsec site to site. The remote server address, we will need to enter the remote server IP address that we will need to connect to. Okay, then after we enter AP, we click on the destination for the LAN. We are using Internet Key Exchange version 2, which is the Ike. Now, on phase 1, we'll need to set a pre shared key, in this case, admin123. Then, the encryption algorithm is OK, the hash algorithm too. For Diffie Hellman group, we're going to use group 21. Then, here on phase 2, we will need to enter our local subnet. OK. Then we will need to enter the local source IP address, which is the gateway IP, and the remote subnet. This is the local LAN for the remote server. In this case, I am using also a VLAN, so I'll have to enter both networks here. Right? Okay. So we'll make sure the lifetimes also okay. The security protocol, the ESP hash algorithm, encapsulation mode, and APF scripts, which is disabled on this case. And now we will need to go to our next router. Okay. So let's click on this. Also, we'll need to sign in in our next router. And the procedure we're going to repeat. We'll need to know our public IP, so we go to the system info, and then we can see we're using IPv4 and this one too. So now I need to go to network settings, then we click on LAN. So here I have the VLAN and the default LAN, both networks. Now we'll need to go to the VPN and the VPN clients. If you wonder why it's a client, is because they make a peer connection. So we click on add. We click on connection type as IPsec site to site. Then we'll put a name, could be any name, just to identify the VPN. Then in the remote server address, we try to split the screens. So we can see both. Okay. So here in the remote server address, I'll have to point from this router to the first one. Okay, so I'm going to use 190.254.24.25. Click also the destination on the Ike version. Make sure we use the same on the both routers. Also for the pre shared key, we have to put admin123. It has to be the same. The H group also has to be the same. And here on the phase two, I'll have to add my local subnets. Okay, which is 192.168.20.0 slash 24. And I am using a VLAN 2, so I'll have to also add the VLAN here. Okay, all the local source IP address, I'll have to put the default VLAN gateway, which is 192.168.20.1 right because that's my default VLAN. On the remote subnet I'll have to put the remote server local LAN 
which is 192.168.80.0/24. You can see the phase two settings right here. Okay. Now we'll need to make sure the SA lifetime is the same, the security protocol, the ESP encryption algorithm are the same. So I click on save. Save here too. If you see it is disconnected now, but supposed to be connected in a minute, you'll see dial in and then we see connected on one side and then connected on the next side. Okay. So I am behind this router on the right side. Okay. And let's look for a client on the left router. So we can see a client here connected, which is that 80.232. So let's try to ping it to see the connection between them. Okay. So we try to ping. 192.168.80.232 then minus t you'll see we're not able to ping it because we are missing one last step on network settings we'll need to grant on LAN settings the VPN destination let's do this an operation then we click on destination the VPN it has to be done on both LAN in this case because I'm using a VLAN, but also on both routers. So we can see if we go to the LAN, so let's say maximize the screen. So if we go to operations and then we'll click also the destination for the VPN. Okay, now if you see, we're able to ping the device. All right, so I hope this video have helped you out and I hope to see you soon on the next video. Bye.